follow YouTube? Well, so we seem to be on the eve of war, or possibly witnessing a war between the Russians and the Ukrainians. Now, why is this important to us? One, I think if we if an invasion does happen, Biden and the Democrats will use that to say we need to defend the Ukrainians. Okay. Now, the problem with that is, if you study history, the Ukrainians and the Russians hate one another. Uh, look up the 1930s famine where the Russians went into the Ukraine and were they basically, between starving them and everything else they did, four million Ukrainians died. Then during World War II, because the Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union, they conscripted and drafted pretty much every Ukrainian man they could get their hands on. Um, have you ever seen the movie Enemy at the Gates where they hand the one guy the rifle, the one guy the ammo, and say, all right, when he, when he falls, you pick up the gun and you shoot. Most of that was done with Ukrainians or peasants from the Ural Mountains. Uh, so the, there is absolutely no love lost between the Ukrainians and the Russians. But the big thing is right now, if we get tangled up with a war with Russia, it isn't so much the fact of a nuclear possibility, which there is. The biggest thing is, and with your gas prices going up, our gas prices here have gone up almost 10 cents a gallon this week alone, and diesel has gone up 20 cents this week alone. We are now at 3.89 a gallon for diesel, and roughly 3.65 or so per gallon of regular. And of course, the biggest thing is, is ever since Biden canceled the Keystone XL pipeline, we are importing a ton of oil, a lot of oil, from the Russians. So we are possibly looking or talking about going to war with a country where we get a large portion of our oil in the midst of an inflation right now that no one is going to be able to afford. So that is something to seriously consider. Um, which means if you think it's bad, they're already saying that oil is going to hit a hundred, possibly a hundred and five dollars a barrel. There is speculation that gas will be easily five dollars a gallon by the summertime. And we're going to get into a war that's going to even make oil worse. Um, that's like right now, and the other possibility is too, Somebody said, well, if the Russians don't sell to us, who are they going to sell to? Well, they got the pipeline going to the Germans, which means the Germans aren't going to get in the middle of this either. The Germans are going to side with the Russians. The Chinese are getting oil from the Iranians. Uh, there's a good possibility that the Russians will turn around and tell China, well, you know all that oil we were selling to the U.S.? How would you like it? We'll give it to you. We'll sell it to you. So the Chinese will be thrilled. The other thing is, too, is a large percentage of the world's wheat population comes from the Russians. this in with the fact that the Chinese are now hoarding their grain stores because of their own people and their own shortages and you can already imagine how this is going to go with your meat, your food, your prices already. Not to mention the fact that the Russians and the Chinese are not exactly the best of friends but they are friendlier with each other than they are with us. Think about all those factors when you, see, and of course Biden, when he had his little speech the other day, when he made the whole, uh, which, well, it's a small incursion, that was the Russians go ahead. 
they have amassed some 100,000 troops in Belarus on the Ukrainian border. You think they're there for it? Just they're not there for a sightseeing tour. They're going to invade. Um, that's like Jen Psaki more or less admitting yesterday that the ambassadors and everybody in the, that everybody from the U.S. that's in Ukraine needs to get out of right now. Get out! Get out! because when war starts, it's going to be very messy. This is going to be a, a Bosnia-type war. This is going to be ethnic cleansing style because of the hatred between the Russians and the Ukrainians. And because of that, when it starts, you're going to see the U.S. We need to get involved for humanitarian reasons. This is very likely they're going to be the start of World War III. Whether nukes are involved or not, this is going to be, at least as far as a shooting war, uh, it'll be interesting to see what the Iranians do, what the North Koreans do, and how much NATO wants to jump into this. I'm assuming NATO is not... NATO, which is mostly us, uh, England's not going to get into this. The French, they're not going to get into this. If they do, it'll be smaller amounts. The Germans, they're getting their oil directly from the Russians now. They're not going to chance this, not with the Nord Stream pipeline. It's going to be us. It's going to be the United States with a weakened, woke military that's more interested in pronouns than it is anything else, and possibly us taking on... And then, of course, you watch, if the invasion happens, the Chinese will take Taiwan. And then we are going to end up on two fronts trying to fight an enemy with inflation and a shitty economy. Uh, there's nothing good that can come from this. So, again, I tell people, you need to start being prepared. Um, I'm going to hopefully do a video. I just tried out something new in addition to powdered eggs. I recently made my own breadcrumbs because they're getting expensive and they're getting harder to find at the store here. Uh, I will maybe do a video on that just to show how that's done. And if it ever gives above a normal temperature, right now it's, it's finally above 15 degrees here, hopefully to get to the range. And with that being said, YouTube, have a good day.